Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you my favorite thing to do when I have a ton of herbs left over that are about to go bad. We are talking pesto. So instead of this basil, that's beautiful, ending up in the trash, it is going to end up on top of my next pasta dish. This is Savvy Seconds, where I show you how to take something old and freaking awesome and turn it into something new and freaking awesome. Let's get started. All you need are a few ingredients that you probably have lying around in your house, and you can also swap some of them out. I will explain further. What you need is one cup of basil. You need a half a cup of Parmesan, a quarter cup of pine nuts, two garlic cloves, a quarter cup of olive oil, and some salt and pepper. You can swap this out for different types of herbs, you can swap it out for different types of cheese, and you can even change the nut that you use. Just make sure that your ratios stay consistent. To start, we're going to add our garlic cloves, and you can see these garlic cloves. This is what I mean by one clove of garlic. If it ends up being twice the size and it's still one clove of garlic, just use one instead of two. Use your eyes, adjust accordingly, you got this. And we are using our toasted pine nuts, that's a quarter cup. And I love this mini food processor. I bought it on Amazon. I actually use it so much more frequently than I ever thought. And what I love about it is that it is teeny, easy cleanup, easy to make stuff. So I'm just going to put this on a pulse. And what I'm looking for here is I actually want to develop a bit of a paste. So we're essentially making peanut butter with pine nuts. If you don't have pine nuts in your house, even though these are the traditional nuts used for pesto, don't worry about it at all. You can swap out for different types of nuts that you have lying around. You could do a pistachio pesto, you could do a walnut pesto, pecan pesto, really truly anything you want. I'm gonna give this one more pulse and then we're going to move on to adding our basil. <laughs> There we go, see how beautiful that looks. Okay, now it is basil time. We are going to add in this cup of basil right into the food processor. If it ends up falling out, pick those leaves up, don't worry about it. And what I like about this is even though the basil is starting to look sad, it's gonna look vibrant and beautiful once we pulse all of this up. It's a really important tip here. You wanna make sure you add a nice three finger pinch of salt here. What that's going to do is it's actually going to open up the cell structure of the basil itself. So the flavor, it's going to be easier to break down and we're also going to get that true basil flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper here too because why not? Adds a nice little snippety snap to it, if you will. And then we are going to pulse this up again. If anything gets stuck on the sides, don't worry about it. Just continue to move it all around. You definitely want to make sure you have a spatula here when you're doing this. And an important thing, do not put the stems of the basil in here. The stems are really fibrous and it's going to make the texture of your pesto taste pretty unpleasant. So only the leaves. <laughs> So now, as you can see here, we have a nice paste forming, and it is olive oil time. That's right. So I'm just going to start by squeezing a nice, generous amount in here. If you have a food processor that has an opening on the top, feel free to squeeze it while you are pulsing that food processor, but because ours does not, I'm just going to add it all in, and we really only want to pulse it until it just comes together. And there you go. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous pesto. The last step here is adding Parmesan cheese. I am going to Instead of adding this into the processor, fold it in because what can happen is it actually can clump up and we wanna make sure that we don't get too much of a finely, finely pulsed pesto here. So this is just gonna go right into our bowl. 
take my cute little mini spatula, which I also got on Amazon. If you guys want any of these products, I'll make sure to share them in stories for you or on my website. That is so luscious. I wish you could smell this. I love, love, love basil pesto just because it's such a classic and it adds a really nice nutty but sweet, cool texture to and flavor to any type of dish. Get as much off as we possibly can. No pesto left behind. Look at how beautiful that is. And do you see some of this extra oil in here? Don't worry too much about that because that is going to pretty much go away when we add our Parmesan in. This adds a really nice, nutty, salty note in here. If you have a different type of cheese, you can also use pecorino cheese. You can use feta cheese if you want. If you use feta, that is extra salty, so just make sure that you're careful with the amount of salt that you use at the beginning. You maybe just want to use a little bit less. And look at, this is forming a really gorgeous paste. And here, to be honest with you, I think that this looks a little bit too chunky. I want it to be a little smoother. So it's as simple as adding a bit more oil just to loosen it up. And look at, it's already loosening up. If you want, you can even add a squeeze of lemon in here just for a little acidity to brighten it a bit more. I like to keep it as simple as possible. Finish it off with some more cracked pepper. And there you go. Gorgeous, gorgeous pesto ready for pasta. As easy as that. And there you go, the best, easiest, most delicious way to save your herbs and keep them out of the trash. This is Savvy Seconds, I'm Elena Besser, and I'll see you next time, bye.